Well, here we go. Through the gold mine of the Cooper family. This place was started by Slack and Company He built his fortune in the employee of the great pharaohs. That must have been around 1300 BC. Yep. His ability, his contribution, well, his main ability was able to turn invisible and no guards were able to see him or anyone. He was able to steal from the corrupt pharaohs of ease. Hence, we have the shadow power, that's what it's supposed to be referencing. So yeah, we have these chests that give you like a ton of money. Well, not a ton, but like 10 coins at least. Sir Gallant, the Knights of the Cooper Order. Honorable Knight and Cunning Thief. Sir Gallant, actually. We can learn more about him in the next game after this. But yeah, he actually he's known. He has a well good ability of wall climb, wall hooking, and launching himself great distances. Though at his medieval times, he always believed the time was now, the time to attack and such. So now here you got the raccoon rail walk. Over these grinders, which so we just gotta jump side to side, keep going forward. Next is just jump and paraglide. Yeah, and that dude, we actually get learn about in Thieves of Time, the next game. It's Liam Alcapar. Oh, let's see. I mean, he is known to actually, yeah, again, get the stuff of 40 Thieves. He's actually, his ability is able to climb up, climb up poles or any, climb up obstacles very fast. Super speed. And here is just another multiple wall hook while on these rocks. And then. Spire jump on the cobra and then glide over to the next ancestor. The strongest of the Cooper family, Slayer Cooper, could break any lock with a single blow. Yeah, now he's not well. I think he actually he's referencing. I know he's referencing the first game for sure. Yeah, you got a rest side for figure eight. Next here is one of the challenging bits. So you just gotta walk along this wall here without getting chopped in half. But you also have to be careful, and also the thing too is you cannot keep running into these. Like you cannot just keep moving forward even if it's near you, or else the, the game will count as you getting hit by it. So like no way of like trying to cheese it out, start moving forward when it comes down. You actually have to wait for it to come up. Or else you get hit and I believe you'll just fall off and then you'll just lose you have to lose spawn. Like you won't die, but you'll lose HP. Not of Ryoichi. Yep, the Ninja Spire Jump and also the Dragon Jump, but that's into a decent time. So you just gotta do Ninja Spire Jumps on these blades. Since the Ninja Spire Jump allows you to go on any pointy object without even like actually getting hurt. Yeah, when the blue sparks appear, that's when you have to jump off. Or else you will fall.
Continuing on. Next is actually Ryuichi's daughter. Yep. The pirate of the, of the, the ancestor of pirates for the family. Which again, fun fact is Ryoichi's daughter. So basically, you just gotta have crawl under these when, like, yeah, I guess the burning skull comes over. Because the light will burn you. Like that, which I'll take the hit. And this here is Tennessee Kid. He's also in the next game. In the old west. And also rail walk. Pretty much <laughs> make them swift crimes. Also, well, most likely outspeeding a train. So you just gotta rail slide, watch out for the. I believe you just have to watch out for those little boulders. I think those hurt too. She no, they don't. Never mind. Next, you climb up this rope while looking out for. <laughs> I guess these wooden. Well, I don't know. These look like wooden cogs. You no, know, cogs with wood on the side. Next is down here. In the Torrent Era, one of the best stomping grounds for the most gentleman would be that is Winslow Cooper. Fancy living. <laughs> fancy, fancy living and being a thief. Next is these hooks that actually open up when the blue sparks appear, so you have to be quick about swinging through them. Now here, you just probably jump on this, the cane like switch in the middle to move this thing around. But you gotta hurry because it will move back. Now comes the utter hard bit. You have to time your jumps. Usually you should count like three seconds. Like this, like one, two, three. Actually not one, two. Like you should jump when you, at two. Actually, hold on, I'll do it again. It should be like, yeah, it's like one, two. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, jump to count two. So yeah, one, two. One, two. One, two. Like, not the moment you're just as you're about to land. Like, when you, like, once you land, then that's when you count. Then one, two, then double jump. And then all Van Cooper. He actually invented all kinds of biplane techniques. Five planes and all kinds of weaponry, which you actually get to use in the first game with a modification to the van. Here, you can only jump on these when they're not spinning. The blue sparks indicate that they're about to turn on. So, this is pretty much once they're off, you just jump forward.
Uh, lastly, it's Sly's father. And now here comes the most interesting ability, the most new skill learned in, the, in this whole game. The, the ability to slide along lasers. Make sure you jump off the end though, or else you will get burned. Here is the end. Well, after through this door, he lies to the inner sanctum, which I'll end this part here and then I'll resume it from here and then go on to the next job after the vault, the gauntlet.